Yeehaw! Welcome back to Redneck Snack Food Reviews. Today's review is the new Baskin Robin Summertime Lime with Sour Berry Slime. A lot going on there, but honestly, if I was a kid, I would not really be excited about this. I don't know if it's just me, but as a kid growing up, fruit ice cream was not really my thing. Fruit anything was really not my thing. But just like the thought of all this kind of wouldn't appetize me. So I don't know. Not as This is not going to be quite as fun for me as the Rita's was. Because the Rita's was like a vanilla caramel kind of like flavored uh, syrup. Very sticky, very nice. Um, that the slime was dyed green. This is a uh, sour berry flavor, and you could put it on any ice cream for 99 extra cents. But again, you know, half these ice cream flavors, why would you do that? That would just completely mess it up. But yeah, so the uh, summertime lime is like a citrus flavored ice cream with a lemon lime ribbon in it or something like that. So it's green and white. You're not gonna get really see much of the green and white you really care about it you would go to their website and look but you will get to see a bit a bit of the slime for sure um and we'll go ahead and pose with it again like even the looks of it, it it's interesting but this looks like what are, what were those little green uh there's a movie years ago with the scientists with little green globs whatever those were called that remi this reminds me more of that than slime. Like, I'm being for real. And it's starting to kind of come off. So let's go ahead and post for the thumbnail. But yeah, I, I'm i intrigued, but I don't think I'm excited. So why am I reviewing this? Because it's something to do. And I've got a lot of reviews to do, to do but I've got supper tonight. So I can't um, really go and get anything else today. Um... But yeah, I do. I, as you know, I review this in the mid of the afternoon, so this will be uploaded at some point. But I can't guarantee when it will be. But this was June third, the evening of June third. That like that matters, anyways. Um. So yes, we honestly, if I don't get to reviewing anything, this might be what I upload uh, on the fourth. Which again, it doesn't matter to you. You care about what this is like. So before we get there, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack of Food. So yeah, last night I lost like 10 followers overnight. So screw you, YouTube. And stop censoring me. And if you're watching, please get my videos out there. Please do your job and get me out there, friends. Anyway, so why does this not... It just doesn't look the same. The... The... The syrup, the, the slime that they had at Rita's, oh, looked exactly like the slime you'd see on TV. To me, this just doesn't quite replicate it. So I'm intrigued. Again, it's going to be a lot of flavor. There's going to be some sour berry flavor. There's going to be some lime. There's going to be all this stuff going on. I don't know. I want them to bring out a non-fruity flavor for once. They just keep dropping like a, a non-dairy watermelon thing. I think the last time I reviewed something from here that wasn't like fruity was that daggone uh, mocha Oreo or coffee Oreo. Cold brew Oreo, that's what it was. Like, it's good. It was good, but since then, they haven't really excited me. Cold Stone now. Run to Cold Stone. Go watch my latest Cold Stone review with the, uh, the new Ultimate Cake Batters. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. I know, I'm rambling on. So, let's go ahead and try this out. Oh, it's nice and gooey. I like that. That's really cool. Okay. Oh, I do... You know, I was so... You know... I was dissing this so hard so early on. And I actually like it. Like, it's got a good berry flavor. It's not overly sour. So, honestly, it goes well. Now, I don't taste a whole lot of the lime because of it. So, it's definitely the dominant flavor. So, just keep that in mind if you're getting a, 
a scoop of ice cream. This is a pretty dominant flavor. I'm trying to get this, this ice cream without the uh, slime in it, just so I can review both. For the slime, I actually really like it. Um, maybe not as sour as some might like it to be, but it is really good. So, I'm going to go ahead and roll with it and say it's an 8, just because I don't get that sour vibe that some people might want. But I think it's really good. So, all this rambling on and Surprise! It was good! As for the lime ice cream, it's a very subtle lime. It's nice, it's refreshing, it's chill. I think what was speaking out those four minutes, those first four minutes, was the kid in me. You know? The kid at heart, me thinking, I'm not going to like this because X, Y, Z, but then I end up liking it because I'm an adult. Can I say kids will like this? They should. Honestly, they really should. But if they were raised like me, I don't think they would like the berry slime. I'll just be honest with that. It is very berry forward. As for the ice cream, it's really like a laid back flavor. I do like I do like their slime a lot more. So, I, it's good. It's a good ice cream. Flavor. I'm going to give it like a 7. Just because it doesn't really hit on those lime notes as much as it could. But it is good. It's, it's, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Well, you know what's been one of the key issues with uh, Baskin Robbins ice cream over all this year for me? Is it's kind of icy. Like, I feel like the first time I ever had it, I actually enjoyed it. But it was just kind of icy ever since I've had it every time. And that's okay, but, you know, no one wants icy ice cream. Despite the fact that it's got the word ice in it. So, yeah, overall, since I gave that a 7, I gave the, the slime an 8. Overall, I think I'll give it a seven and a half. Just because that's a good way to just even it out. Even out the score here. And I like how like the you get the slime kind of like texture of it. So that's really cool. Um, But just because like that berry flavor tends to dominate. And it's a good berry flavor. Ooh, I like that bite. That bite, like, I got a little, whole lot of slime. So if you just, and they, they do have like a $7 little tub of it that you can buy. So, I like that you can get edible slime. Um, that, that felt like I was putting, you know, the sticky stuff in my mouth. Um, which I was, you know. But for the most part, I didn't get that texture, but when I just got it on its own. What is that? It's not Play-Doh, but it's something sticky that... I got some slime, but... You know, it feels like... Yeah, it's a sticky so you would play with. And you're eating it. So this is definitely something... You know, if it wasn't... If it was more just like sugary flavor like Rita's, I think kids would be more... Intrigued to try it, but... Hell... You got kids eating Tide Pods, this is, you know, at least this is edible, you know. And it, it'll be like, oh, wow, I'm putting slime in my mouth and it's actually edible. So, I mean, yeah, a drawback that it is fruity and a lot of kids might not want it. But the plus side is if you got a monster of a kid who's like maybe even a toddler and doesn't really care about what things taste like. And they'll eat anything that's slimy and you know they're eating glue this might be something for them you know, oh i started out dissing on Dasta robbins and i'm like you know maybe maybe what they did is not so bad maybe i'm just being a little too critical so there's that that's my review i'm sticking to it i give it a seven and a half not the most fabulous thing but it was good and it gave y'all an entertaining review, I hope. 
you enjoyed. So, I will definitely have more videos to come. Got a lot of reviews to cover. So hopefully you'll be there for all of them. If not, why not? Hit that subscribe button. And if you do, I will see you around.